What's going on guys? So today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, we're actually fishing today. We've got Pastor Mike over here. The uh, the goat. <laughs> is that it? And we got a little uh, Mako. We got a little Mako. I know he's so cute. And today we're trying to get some triple tail. The wind's kind of bad right now. So, and like the current's going the wrong way. We lost our troller motor because it's broken. So it's kind of tough. But we're still going to try and whack him out. So, so let's do it. Man, it's so windy, I can't talk. All right, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but we're using circle hooks and shrimp and some uh, clamp weights, and we're hitting up these little uh, markers over here and trying to, because triple tail likes to stay over by cover. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know if this one's got any on it. I haven't gotten anything. All right, guys, so uh, triple tail fishing didn't go as planned, so now we're fishing some live mullet to see if we can get a snook. Hopefully we can get some. We got to get something to do. Still alive. Alive and well. Okay, well, now we're looking for some crabs. For what are we using the crabs for? We're getting some crabs for sheep's head. Mako's having a great time. What are we looking for? Kind of like cruising around on the ground. All these little holes? Yeah. Right there is a good little crab hole. Did you get them? Uh huh. Nice. Oh, yeah, there's a little. One really big, impressive claw. Yeah. Oh, freaking make it. Scared the crap out of me. I was like, what the heck? Oh, this one's spitting eggs out all over my hand. There's eggs all over my hand right now. I accidentally ripped a leg off. It drops pretty quick. It's not like a... I think I just missed yeah, something. So you're in the stuff. And the majority of your bites happen on the drop anyways. Because these, these big sheep's head and these big drum are yeah. working these collars. They got those big ugly teeth. Yeah. Because they're 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 crushing all those barnacles on these on pilots. What is it? That's a drum. Nice. Do you need help bringing them in? It's a giant drum. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, that is the biggest drum I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, please. Are you gonna let tire him out? So oh, yeah. See how freight that is? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Not exactly what we were fishing for, but man, uh, that's still speak like. For yourself. <laughs> I know we were, but I thought we were targeting sheep set out. We are, but these are one of my favorite. Holy fish. crap. I don't know if you guys can see how big that is, but that is massive. Look at that. That's a good black drum. Please, no. Oh, gosh. That's a nice one. Holy crap. Drum? Yeah. Just kind of let him do his thing. All right. All right. <gasps> yes! Look at that. Get your feet. Nice. It's a caught fish, baby. Oh, nice. Oh, I Look gotta redo that. my whole leader, my whole leader oh, shot. Yeah. That's why we use that big tackle in here. Yeah. How? What pound test is that? Is that fluoro? Uh, it's thirty pound fluoro. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Listen to that. <laughs> That's my new. That is a deep noise. That is crazy. That's, That's my cool. new PB. That's your PB. That's <laughs> Are you gonna weigh it? Uh, maybe. Get the house. That's cool. I think they're recording. Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> That is sick. Eat in the box, baby. You gotta save them for. That's dope. That's what we came here for. <laughs> I need to start throwing mine right now. You see how I had to fight him though? You gotta get him out of the junk as quick as Yeah. Possible. That was a monster. Oh, look at little Mako just chilling. 
Yeah, All right, so get another one. Man, you're, oh, it's a Cuda. Oh, ladyfish. Oh, I thought it was a Cuda. Do you keep those or are they just like annoying? All right, guys, so wasn't the most productive day, but we did get a pretty big black drum. This drum is from yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to have a quick fillet vid. So is this like a all around, like you can apply this to anything? Yeah, pretty much. So you run the tip of the knife right down the backbone. Their scales are super, super thick. It's right down the backbone, just like that. Get to the bottom. All right through the tail. Yep. And take that and you work your way back up. And you just follow the bones. So you can actually kind of hear it if you're pressing down right. Yeah. Kind of tick as it's going up. All right. Do that a couple times till you get to the backbone. Lay this open. You got these things called pin bones in the rib yeah. cage. So you gotta kinda go through those pin bones. And that backbone is also pretty high. Nice. Ta da! What is that red stuff? Is that like the veins? Bloodline. Oh, bloodline. Fish don't have veins today. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. And then you just re reverse the whole process. Oh, the skin's coming right off. So a common misconception is you're supposed to cut with the knife. You actually leave the knife and pull the skin and it, uh, it comes out perfect every time. Don't, again, don't, you know, you can cut with the knife to start with, but you watch most people and they do this down, and that's how you end up cutting the, the skin. But if you just hold your knife at the right angle, pull the skin. It's literally perfect every time. Another little problem with black drum, red meat is extremely fishy, which is why people um, oftentimes, you know, talk about black drum as being a non-desirable fish to eat, which isn't exactly 100% truth. You just got to know how to dress them out. Some pin bones right here. Taking the same thing on this one. Take that. A little bit of red isn't bad, it's just when you get just big chunks of red. The other thing that's actually kind of funny is this up here isn't actually red meat. It's it's something that you only really see in like certain species like sheep's head and redfish and black drum and fish that eat a lot of crustaceans. Totally, totally different flavor and it's it's actually why it's what gives these fish that the distinctive flavor that they have. You know, they oftentimes have a flavor very similar to crustaceans or crabs or you know, so if you like shellfish, if you like lobster, crab, anything like that. Well, there you go. Pro tips from Pastor Mike. Um, may or may not film the cooking portion, but until next time, see you guys later.